Hi everyone, I know that you'll be working on two research assignments for Gen Edge 219 and I wanted to share with you how the library can support you as you're working on those assignments. So in the last video we looked at how you can get started accessing library resources and in this video we'll look specifically at how you can find information for your provincial resources assignment. So to get started on your provincial resources assignment you're going to want to head to the Gen Ed 219 library guide. You can access the guide by heading to your eCentennial course shell and then choosing Library and Learning from the right hand side of the screen. Next, then you'll choose the Gen Ed 219 Canadian Workplace Experience Guide link. You can also access the guide directly from the link here on the screen. So I'm going to go into the guide now just to show you what it looks like. Once you're in the guide to find resources for your provincial resources assignment, you're going to want to choose this provincial resources link. Here you'll find tons of great resources that you can use specifically to help you get started on your assignment. So uh, to get started, you're going to want to start by checking out the resource here in this background information box that's called the Canadian Encyclopedia. I'm going to go into the Canadian Encyclopedia now. And this resource is going to be a really great place for you to start your research and it's going to have lots of great information to help you answer that first question of your assignment that's going to help you to introduce the province that you're looking for. So to find this introductory information, we're going to go here to where it says search and then I'm just going to type in the name of the province I'm looking for. I'm going to search for Alberta. So we'll go in here now. We'll see we've got a few different articles coming up. I'm going to choose the article, the first article on the list there that says Alberta. And in here you'll see if, as we scroll through, you're going to find tons of great information about the natural resources in the province, its geography, the population, all of this great information that's going to help you answer that first question of your assignment. You could also use this menu here on the left hand side of the screen to help you navigate through the article. So if we wanted to just access information about the government and politics or the economy, we can do that over here. So this is going to be a great place for you to start, lots of great introductory information um, and information that's really easy to understand. But if you can't find everything that you need here on the Canadian Encyclopedia, there are other resources that you can check out as well. So I'm going to go back to the Gen Edge 219 guide and show you some of these other resources. The next place that you're going to want to look if you can't find what you need through the Canadian Encyclopedia is the government website specifically for your province. And you'll see here on the right hand side of the screen, I've listed the links to all of the government sites for each province. I'm going to go into the Government of Alberta site just to show you what it looks like. These government websites are a treasure trove of information. You're going to find tons of great information here as well. Um, the government websites are going to be specifically good for finding information about the economy as well as the labor force of your province. Once you're on the website, uh, you're going to want to look for any menus that are going to help you to navigate these sites. Each government website is a little bit different, um, so using these menus will really help you to get exactly the kind of information that you need. I'm going to scroll down here and we'll see that we've got a nice menu here on the home page of the screen. Um, and, you know, if I'm looking for information about the economy and the workforce, they have sections here for business and economy as well as jobs and employment. I'm going to choose that business and economy link here, scroll down. You'll see we've got information about economic updates and analysis. I'm going to choose that one right here. If you scroll down as well, you'll see we've got some labor market information, information about job market trends and profiles. Now we're getting exactly the kind of information that we're looking for, information about the different industries in my province, um, the different people that work there, some demographics information. All of this stuff is going to be really great uh, for my assignment. Okay, I'm going to head back to the Gen Edge 219 guide now. And so, you know, looking in Canadian Encyclopedia, as well as the government website for your province, you're going to find almost all of the information that you need for your assignment. But if you can't find the information that you need using these two resources, there are lots of other great resources here on the guide to help. For example, one of the other questions you have to answer for your provincial resources assignment is to identify some labor laws for your particular province. So to do that, here under the Labor Laws section, I have a link to this Employment Standards in Canada. We'll go into this site now. This provides you with a list of all of the employment standards for each province. So a really great place to go if you need to find that information about the employment standards for your particular province. Go back to the guide now. 
Additionally, um, for your assignment, you need to find some statistics about the demographics of the workforce uh, in your particular province. Um, and you should be able to find this information using the government website, but if you can't, I also have links to uh, Statistics Canada tables that have that information as well. So for instance, if you needed to find demographics of, of your workforce by education, how much education does the workforce in your, in your province have, you could check out this first link here under Workforce Demographics going to take you to the Statistics Canada table for that, that particular demographic. Um, and here you'll see, so we've got this, this table here. Um, at the top of the screen, you can narrow down the table by geography. Right now it's showing us educational demographics for the entire country, but what we can do here is open up this drop-down menu and then choose Alberta here to just look at one particular province and then hit apply. And so once the table loads, this is going to show us a breakdown of, of education in the workforce, how much education does uh, particular segments of the workforce have in Alberta. Okay, so um, you know, this, these tables can sometimes be a little tricky to use. They're a little bit harder to navigate. Um, so it, it can be easier if you can find this information through your provincial uh, website because they'll often digest the information, really present it in an easy to understand way. But if you can't find that information there, this is another great place to check out. Okay, heading back to the guide now. The last place that I'll show you here on this guide is under economic trends. So for your assignment, you also have to identify some economic trends for your particular province. So I'm going to go in here to where it says CBCA complete um, and head in here. Now this is a database that has Canadian news information, a really great place to, to check out to find information about economic trends because they've got newspaper articles, magazine articles that are Canadian. So what we can do here, we can just type in the name of our province and then the word economy here. And this is going to find us any articles that are about Alberta's economy. So we'll see the results uh, of our search coming up here, um, getting lots of different results here, uh, all about Alberta's economy. But you'll see if you look under the title of the article here, you'll see the year that the article was published. So this one was published in 1999, 2010, 2009, 2012. So they're all a little bit old, okay? Um, and so uh, this might not give us uh, information about the economic trends that we need because it's a little bit too old. So what we can do over here on the, the side of the screen, you can see that you can narrow down by publication date. So maybe we want to narrow down and just see what's been going on in Alberta's economy this year in 2020. So we'll see, we can pop in 2020 here um, as an option. And then what we'll do is we'll click update. And now this is going to just give us articles published in 2020 about our particular province. It's really important to, to narrow down by recent resources, especially because right now each province's economy is really undergoing a lot of changes because of the pandemic. So this is going to give us that current information about Alberta's economy. Okay, great. So I'll head back onto the guide now. So we've looked at all of the different resources available on the Gen Edge 219 guide on this Provincial Resources tab to help you with your Provincial Resources assignment. Um, but, uh, but in the next video, we're going to look a little bit uh, more at how you can get started on your research assignment and identify some issues or subtopics that you can use for that assignment.